Big news, Jagex have revived so much old content with their latest update. The Valmore Air expansion has brought a lot of new content into the game. And today I want to talk about one of these new activities. The one that has restored previously dead areas around the entire game, revolutionized healing supplies, and given us a new mid-game ranged weapon, perfect for Iron Man. Let's talk about the Hunter's Guild. Guilds are pretty common in RuneScape. Get to a certain level requirement, maybe you complete a quest, and you get accepted amongst the finest there is. The most recent addition is the Hunter's Guild, nestled in the wild and surrounded by creatures, built in amongst the trees and the main hub tucked away beneath its roots. It just feels right. Most guilds in RuneScape offer something of value. <laughs> okay, maybe not all of them of course. Now, the Hunter's Guild offers something really unique. Hunter's Rumors. Any one of these esteemed hunters can offer you a rumor, detailing a type of rare hunter creature that's been spotted amongst its population, and it's your job to hunt them down and bring back a rare creature part. These work a little bit like the existing farming contracts and slayer tasks. Rumors scale based on your hunter level, which doesn't actually make anything more difficult, but is a basis for what creatures can be assigned to you. When hunting a creature, there's a chance to receive a rare creature part. Bringing these back to the hunter that assigned you the task will net you a nice chunk of additional XP and a hunter's loot sack. Really guys? We're doing this. This rumor system is pretty neat because it makes those slightly lower XP hunting methods feel a little bit more rewarding to do. The little boost of XP when handing in your rumor is nice, but the real incentive are these loot sacks. These actually bear a really generous amount of profit for something passively earned on the side. From my first 10 hunter sacks, I got around 300K from the standard supplies, and that's not even taken into account the unique items you can get from this, like the guild hunter set, a new pet, and upgraded blueprints for your Quetzal. My, uh, what? Your Quetzal. Oh yeah, uh, you get your own bird now, and it can fast travel you to all kinds of places around Valamore. Oh, that's cool. So it's a bit like when you... Steve? Steve? God damn it, man. That guy's PC is as old as he is. He should have checked out Amsidia the sponsor of today's video. Amsidia are a premium gaming PC building company who take all of the frustration out of building your own PC. If, like me, you've done that before, then you know how many steps there are. From researching components, waiting for shipping times, and then comes the building part with things like cable management, 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 these guys take all of that stress away. Amsidia's range of ready-to-ship PCs consists of these sleek-designed, high-quality builds, there to get you set up as quickly as possible. Their models have all been carefully hand with the latest generation of hardware. They're optimized and stress-tested so that you won't miss a tick in your high-octane gaming endeavors. These are some impressive pieces of kit, so if you want to get your hands on one, then check out their website on screen now or the link in the description. Thanks again to Amsidia for sponsoring this video. So I said at the beginning of this video that this update has revived previously dead areas of the game. These hunter contracts can send you back to content that you could have quite easily skipped over without ever noticing. You can just see the difference in popularity here. And with that comes the revival of social interactions. Oh, we've got a biter. Let's see what he's got to say. We're trapping a silly little fox under a rock, okay? <sighs> surely, surely not. <laughs> oh, this guy can't be real. He's having to think about this one. <laughs> There's got to be a list for people like this. This guy needs to be on some sort of watch list. Seriously though, there is something pure about this type of gameplay. Although it's a new update, it feels old school. And I've got to say, a new update that supplements older content, whether you like it or not, is smart. There's so many areas around Gelenor that could benefit from future updates in this fashion. Some of the new hunter creatures introduced with Valamore have even unlocked some new combat options. And first, let's go over the bigger one, combat supplies. 
Food in RuneScape has been a pretty solved thing for some time now. You eat the food that heals the most, you can pair it with a Karambwan to combo eat, and then you can one-up this by triple healing with a potion if you're precise enough. Well, Hunter is also changing that landscape. Sunlight Moths and Moonlight Moths can be caught and jarred for some new healing buffs. Sunlight Moths restore 6 plus 20% of a player's reduced stats and 8 hit points, while Moonlight Moths restore 22 prayer. What's more impressive is that these effects can be applied to up to 3 nearby players. This is huge for group activities, but at the moment it's seeing most of its use in PvP, allowing you to heal from 1 to 99 in just a couple of seconds. I don't know if this is intended or not, but people seem to be having fun with it. Uh, not, not everybody. The other change to combat supplies are hunter meats. By completing enough hunter rumors, you'll gain the understanding needed to cook certain hunter meats, and some of these have really strong healing effects. Moonlight Antelope Meat is the new official highest healing single piece of food, healing 26 hit points over just a few seconds and curing one state of poison. The other huge new combat unlock is a weapon. The Hunter's Crossbow can be purchased from Leon for just a thousand coins. Now, with 72 Hunter, you'll be able to pitfall trap a new creature, the Sunlight Antelope, found just east of the Avium Savannah Fairy Ring, and using their horns, you can upgrade the Hunter's Crossbow into the Sunlight Hunter's Crossbow. This this thing is an actual beast. Sure, its ranged attack stats are the same as about an adamant crossbow, but it fires on a three tick attack speed, just like a magic shortbow. That's not all though. Sunlight antelopes and moonlight antelopes can also have their antlers fashioned into bolts. This ammunition is deadly boasting the same range strength as dragon arrows. So while it's likely that its main application will still be for PvP, this actually opens a versatile ranged progression option for Iron Men, who have long been stuck with bridging the gap between a magic shortbow and rune crossbow all the way up to the bofa or toxic blowpipe. Not only is this not locked behind a PVM drop, but it's actually really good for doing PVM. This is actually hitting pretty accurately. Honestly, I'm not mad about it. Might be a pretty slow kill though. 144. Okay. I mean, I say it performs well in PVM, but there are definitely some instances you don't want to try this in. Uh, this is going to be the slowest Vorkath kill ever. There. What's the time? Three minutes, 28 seconds. Okay. I mean, it's safe to say this isn't going to replace any Vorkath tech. That's, that's a given. I... <laughs> I'm starting to think this really isn't going to replace anything. I really am loving this update and I'm just going to bring us back to the hunter thing for a second because there is one thing that gets pretty old pretty fast and I'm going to show you guys a way around it. Occasionally you get a rumor that involves a really convoluted way of hunting. Take these razor-backed kebits for example. You got to check their little hidey hole, follow their tracks and take a wild guess at which plant or bush they've had a bite of and then eventually strangle a bush with a noose. A secret bit of tech to help with tasks like this is that some hunters rumors actually share the same rare creature part. The rumor system lets you alternate between multiple tasks at a limit of one per hunter master so you could have have a razor-backed kebit task from one hunter and a dashing kebit task from another, but because dashing kebits are a far quicker method of hunting, you could trade in the rare creature part from dashing kebits for your razor-backed kebit task. Huntmaster Gilman actually assigns all rumors, so if you cycle through enough of his rumors, you'll eventually get a dashing kebit task and can keep that there for all other kebit tasks that come up. Another thing that you can pair with this is blocking tasks. This only works because each hunter will not be able to assign you a rumor that you've already been assigned. It's a little bit more complicated than that, so I will put a link to this Reddit post, which I think does a better job at explaining it than I ever could, so check that out if you're interested. The last tip I have for you guys is to go out of your way early to get your pouches. The large fur pouch and the large meat pouch can hold 28 pieces of their respective resource. These will keep your inventory tidy and net you some passive GP on the side. At least for me, Valamore is really proving to be the best old school RuneScape update in recent years, and I'm really excited to get stuck into all the other bits of it. So until next time, guys, see you soon.